This is round two of standard elimination. Ah, oh, this hand. I want to keep it because I have two scry sources here and a one drop. But if I see more land, I'm still gonna die. Oh, I'll keep it because I'm greedy. And because I'm paranoid. Okay, straight away he's playing green and white. This is now a really horrible keep. Never mind, chain rocks. I made the keep better. If I don't see any more lands, I start seeing like four dragons in a row. That'll be perfect. Green white is a really hard matchup, for, especially for red decks. It's better when you have the Volta guys, but in this version, not so much. Voice. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll shoot the boys. Magma J can't hit very many creatures. Yes! Desecrating, oh, not Desecrating Demon, sorry. Uh, Storm Breath Dragon. On top. On top. Voice Lion Okay, this time it's gonna be Chain and Rocks and Ashley Light. Only problem is he can almost cast his worm and that won't be very fun. No celery. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a worm. Alright, it's not a worm, but it's pretty bad. Oh, that's actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm just lost. He can continually um, spawn his um, elemental token and just destroy me like that. Interesting. I can kill his elemental in response, that's the best I can do. In response to his arm for blade. Not the best play in the world, but it's better than nothing. Let's 
averaging is. This is like the, the bane of red decks. Wally Helix is a fantastic draw. It's a worm I lost. Okay. Well, it's not a worm, so it's okay. But it's not great. Life next turn. So dead. Well, I'll do my last hit, then I'll concede.
I actually consider myself lucky. If he didn't have um, if he had Worm, I would have been dead much faster. Although he only runs around one of these in his deck, so that's also pretty bad luck for me as well. Then I'll just concede here. Okay, um, how do I win against this guy? Assembles against trample creatures, cause that's pointless. One drop against an army, that's pointless. Sandra Pyromaster is pointless. Anger of the Gods is good. Boros Reckonor is good. Glare of Heresy is good. Mortar is good. And um, all your hits is good. Weakest cards in this match is Magma Jet, Ash Zealot. I'll cut one Zealot, I'll cut one Magma Jet. Ash is not very good by itself, but if you combine Ash with a Boss Reckoner, you create a wall. Which is why it's a free free split. Last breath is okay, you can use it to get rid of uh, his um. Oh, I should put Last Breath in. It gets rid of his Atastani as well. Oh well, that's too late. Alright, next match, I'll put, I'll put those in as well. You can exile both his Atastani and his um, voice on the Resurgence, which is huge. Even though you give him life. Land. Oh, not. Why do I need land for? If I can pop deck um, three lands in a row, I'll be for me. Land. Very good. Two more lands to go. Very good. One more land to go. Earliest Umbra of Dragon is almost GG. Come on, last land. What? Red white? Oh, it's just extra scary, I see. That makes sense. I don't like the track works for that. Land. Of course not. Why do I need land for? Land's useless. Get this dragon down, I'll about kill him for six, uh, six turns. I'm running well last time as well, I should have hit land easy. Come on, land! God, this game hates me. The extra chains is nice though. Oh, come on! I should run 26 lands. No, I'll just get flooded. Come 
on, lad. Finally. Plummet. No, oh, it actually resolved. Very good. Sure, why not? Terrifying worm. Ouch. Chain hit smiter. Shouldn't see now, I think. Let's say he has like um, an aura in his hand. And he's dead. And even if he has an aura in his hand, next turn I'll have um, chain rocks and all the healings up. Okay. <sighs> Two Dastanis. Four voices. Should I bring Last Breath in to get rid of those? I can't kill Dastani in, in any other way, really. Dastani can single handedly destroy me. No, no, I have Claire Paracy here. I really don't want to give him life. It's like giving him life is the most ridiculous thing ever. No, I won't. I'll keep it how it is. Oh, I hate this matchup. When I was playing the old pile whitelist with 24 creatures where I folded in a bunch of like rapid casting creatures, this matchup was easy. But like this, it's, it's really hard. Chain Rock, Spores Reckon are perfect. I'm on the draw as well, so hitting the third land would be... Very likely. Although a singleton one. Ugh. I only have one removal, which is the problem. The voice. It's a stupid lion. I will kill the stupid lion. And then I'll go Balls Reckoner, Balls Reckoner, and I think it's BGG at that point. Double ball rest, Balls Reckoner is really, really hard from the start. Although Tistani is a good way to start. Of course, he might have his own glare of heresies to trip me up. I 
I'm starting to think that I shouldn't have conceded early in the game one. Because he's a really slow player, timing out would have been fairly realistic. Excellent. He could not play his turn free elephant. Ratchet Bomb it is not a good card to see. Just need to see one more land and get my Storm of Ragnarok, and uh, that's pretty much GG from that point. Okay. I'm gonna shoot his um smiter, swing the boss reckoner. Hitting the land will be nice. Yeah, like that for example. He's playing a lot of scary sources, which really slows him down. Very good. I didn't expect him to do this. This helps me a lot though. Now I can drop down my second Boros Reckoner earlier. Now obviously it's a Stani right now, it'll be pretty nasty. Okay, didn't have one, very good. So the dragon... It is. Plummet. Aerial Predation. That's a very interesting card. Very narrow. But it works. Which is all that matters. Losing my um, Stomp of Dragons is a huge deal. Well, that's a pretty bad draw. If he has a pump effect, he has a pump effect.
Very good, he didn't have one. It's Stani. Another stupid elephant. Okay, fair enough. Good card. I should about kill him next time. <coughs> what is this? Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh wow, I can even make it monstrous as well. How frustrating. I can just overload this. And if he got monsters, he loses. GG.